Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be just a quick and easy tutorial on a like everyday makeup look I've been doing a lot. It's this look right here. Um, it's just a really orangey, peachy, uh, warm toned makeup look. You guys know those are my favorites. And this one's really simple to do. It doesn't take very long. It's something I do on pretty much an everyday basis if I'm doing my makeup for class. I do some type of variation on this look because I feel like these are the colors that suit me the best and I feel most confident in. And I just wanted to show you guys today like a quick, like realistic makeup look that I do every day and not something super dramatic just like a look that I feel really comfortable in and also the peachy tones have been really in style lately so I thought this would be a good time to kind of put this video up um, but anyways I won't ramble anymore I want to get into it I don't want this to be a long drawn out video it probably will be like knowing my look but I feel like I could do this pretty quick because it is like my everyday routine so again I hope you guys enjoy and let's go ahead and get into the makeup Okay guys, so I'm going to go ahead and show you all this really easy eye look that I basically do on an everyday basis here at school. And it's just really warm and it gets me in the mood for springtime. So I'm starting out with the e.l.f. Um, this is one of their new matte liquid eyeshadows. This is in the color Nude Linen. And it's basically just like a really matte um, skin tone shade. And it's a good um, eye primer for a really natural look like this. So that's what I'm going to start out with. It's pretty liquidy. I just dot it on like that and kind of blend it in. You won't even really be able to see it. It just kind of cancels out the veins and stuff and it will make the eyeshadows um, show up and stay on a little bit better. And I've already like done my face and I have my bake on right now. So if you're wondering like what all that powder is, I probably should have said that first. But I'm just going to let my skin bake while I do my eyes. That's what I've been doing lately and it works really well. It's a little bit faster. And if I have any fallout, I can just dust it away. So that works really good. And if I'm going for really effortless, I'll just use this on its own and not put eyeshadows on top. But this is if I'm going to do like a actual look. Okay, next step is I go in with this Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess eyeshadow and just like a synthetic brush and um, you'll see that this isn't really precise. I just dip into this and I put this all over my eyelid. So I make sure those creases are blended out and I just kind of dust this all over the eyelid area. So I could definitely leave it like this and I do a lot of the times, but if I'm really going for a warm like orangey eyeshadow look, this next step is what makes it super pretty. And you'll notice that I barely use any actual eyeshadows in this look, pretty much use my face products. So I'm going in with the MAC blush in Eternal Sun and this is what always makes my eyeshadow looks look super warm and orangey and I just love this color, it's so pretty. And it coordinates good with the rest of the face because I'll use this as blush and it just always looks really good. So I keep this more on the border of the outer shade. So I'm just gonna do circular motions to buff it in because I want it really blended. Then after I've dusted off that brush, like I don't want any more product on it, I just kind of wipe it off on a tissue. I'll go in and just blend the edges of all of that so that it looks really blended. I've kind of been loving taking my eyeshadow all the way up to my eyebrow lately instead of doing like a highlighty shade. I've been liking like a darker color kind of just like really blend it up in there. This eyeshadow look is especially going to be really pretty for people with blue eyes or like green eyes because it makes them pop with the contrast. I feel like it's just really pretty. Okay, now for eyeliner, I'm going to use this Wet n Wild On Edge. It's just a brown eyeliner pencil. And basically, I tight line, just really quick, like this is a fast makeup look. And then I take it about halfway in on the outer corner. Just like that, super easy. Then I go in with like a flat shader brush like this. And I've been using my Semi Sweet and I'll mix together like black and this dark brown here and kind of blend over that. 
Just because I've been lacking more of like a messy look, I feel like, on my eyes. And I'll even go in with the brush with the brown on it. Just go over that. I just like it to be like kind of a more smoky like way to define my eyes. So after I have my eyeliner done like that, then I will usually move on to the rest of my face. And I say the lower lash line for um, after. So I can just quickly show you guys like what I've been doing. I'm only at eight minutes right now, so I can go ahead and film this. Um, I just dust off all that powder. Usually I'll dust it off by putting on a little bit of this better skin. Like I'll use that. I just take this brush and I'm almost out of this powder and I'm going to have to get some more. And I just kind of lightly... Go over the areas where that powder was. And then my skin, I feel like, looks like really smooth after I do that. So next, I'm going to go in with my bronzer. I'm using my Butter Bronzer. I've hit paint on this also. I've been really going through my makeup lately because I've not been buying a lot. So I use this bronzer on like the outer perimeters of my face just to like warm everything up and give myself a little bit of more of a glow to the face. Because this isn't like a super dark bronzer, it just gives you a little bit of life. Kind of doing that three shape that everyone used to do doing that more lately because it's just fast and I also just take it on my nose a little bit then if I want to contour and I do usually contour on a daily basis it's like my favorite part of doing my makeup I've been using this physicians formula contour kit I still love it I did do a video on this like a first impressions and I loved it then and I've continued to love it the way I've been contouring lately is super super easy um, I take this palette and I take one of these brushes and I did a video on these brushes in like my first year on my YouTube channel it was called an affordable brush review like dupes for Sigma brushes I love these brushes um, you can get them on Amazon still um, if you want to go look at that video that I did, I did link them. Um, but I take like this angled one and I just go into a mixture of these two darkest shades. You can see I really like that when I put paint on it. Uh, but I mix them, just tap them off. And then I'll just kind of stamp this on where I want it. And then I just buff it up a little bit like and then what I've been doing lately I feel like it kind of brings my whole face together I go in with that same brush I seriously barely use any products or brushes I feel like I just kind of use the same products and brushes for my whole face but I go in with this and still do a mixture of these two brown shades and then I just take it in this little like cavern right here and connect it down to my nose contour and I feel like it makes everything look a little bit more seamless and like it's actually a shadow and I'll also put that right under my bottom lip now back to this blush that we used on the eyes I'm going to use it on the cheeks I'm going to take it with this Sigma blush brush and I'm going to put that further back I keep it like on the top of my cheekbone right there you all know that I do this I've always done this in my videos but I like my blush further back on my face. I love that color so much. It is so pretty. I just hit paint on it like big time. That is so fun. I'm gonna have to have another one because I use it literally every day. Then I go back in with this brush and my Better Skin Powder and I kind of just blend all of that together. Now 
Now it's time for a little bit of highlighter. I pretty much always use the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. And I don't really highlight my cheekbones anymore. I just highlight the tip of my nose. Cupid's bow. And my chin. And then I'll usually take just my same fan brush in this and kind of just hit underneath my eyebrow. Then we're going to go back to the eyes and just finish them up really, really quick. Um, I'm going to go in with the same blush first and that same brush. And I just go on the main tip of it. And I'll blend that underneath my eye the whole way in. I'm sorry I ran out of space so I went ahead and all I did was smoke out that lower lash line like I was saying with this and the blush and then I put some mascara on my top lashes so now I'm gonna go back in with this same little flat shader brush and the dark brown and black eyeshadows and I'm just gonna put a little bit right here on the outer corner I just literally stamp it right there you'll see I don't do very much at all and then I'll put a little coat of mascara. This is what I use on both my upper and lower lashes. It's the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. It's been my favorite mascara for so long. I feel like I've constantly talked about this on my channel. And I am back to loving it. Okay, after the mascara is done, my eyes are done. I just hit my brows with a little bit of the Maybelline Brow Drama. Just the brown eyebrow gel. Just to take the powdery look out of them. I didn't show my brows or foundation on camera, but I used my Walmart brow pomade and I have been obsessed with the Wet n Wild Photo Photo Focus foundation. I couldn't remember what this is called, but I use the color Soft Beige. It's my favorite foundation of the moment. I really like how it looks. Okay, now for lips, I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild. It's one of these new gel lip liners. I really love these. They are a great formula. I love this one. And then I also have the pink color that's called... Um, never pedal down but the one I'm going to use today is bear to comment and it's a really pretty peachy like natural color it's not super light but it's just really pretty you'll see and it's got a really good texture see it's such a pretty color and watch how much moisture like this is just a lip liner and it will transfer like when I rub my lips together and I feel like that's the mark of like a really creamy lip liner is it will like transfer and I just love the color it's so pretty then I could leave it like this and I really like how it looks but usually I like to lighten up the lips a little bit just like in the center to give them a little bit more of a pout so there's two lipsticks that I use for this usually when I'm doing this look I really like um, this one it's a Milani one of the matte ones in adorable it's really pretty I might wear it. I don't know yet. And then there is this um, Estee Lauder one that I love. It's an installable ivory. And it's just a really creamy, pretty peachy lipstick. I really like that one. And then sometimes I will go darker. And if I'm going to go for a darker lip, I'll use this Wet n Wild liquid lipstick and give me mocha. It's really pretty with this look. Or I'll use Kat Von D Lolita. But I think today I'm going to use this Estee Lauder lipstick just right in the center of my lips and see how I feel about that. It's just more of a classic nude. I really like it. And then if I want to give my lips a little bit more dimension, and I think I'm going to do this today just to show you guys, I will go in with this one that I showed, the Liquid Cat Suit, and give me mocha. And I just really clean this off. I don't want a lot of product on it. And I'll just kind of go on the outer parts of my lips with this. So that's basically it for this look. It's a really warm, orangey, peachy kind of look. You guys know that that is literally my favorite look to wear anytime. And I've been wearing this basically all the time lately. Anytime I like do my makeup for class or just in general, I've been kind of going towards this. Because I feel like it kind of brings out my natural features a little bit more. And it's just the colors that I like to wear. Plus it's really quick. Like you all saw, it didn't take me very long to do all of that. And it's a pretty like full on, you know, makeup look. But it still looks just kind of... Um, 
um, like it's just enhancing your natural features. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little makeup tutorial. I just wanted to show you guys like more of a makeup routine than I do on a daily basis instead of like a full on glam. This is kind of a more realistic makeup routine for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did, uh, please subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already. There's just a button down there. You just click it. It's free and you'll be notified when I upload a video and it also lets me know that you guys like my content. You can give me um, some video ideas in the comments. I would really appreciate that and kind of just let me know like what are your go-to colors when you're doing your makeup. Like mine is definitely orange and peach. That is what I always go towards um, and that seems to be really trendy right now actually like with the peach palettes and stuff but that's like always been my go-to. Um, I know a lot of people like plums and purpley colors so just let me know in the comments like what color you go to for your makeup. I'll be really interested to hear that and I hope I'll see you guys in my next video.